What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Florida 2K right now, so I'm a bit uh, heartbroken that we couldn't make it. Um, but figured I'll give you guys some updates on uh, what's going on with the car. I haven't posted in a while, but she's parked for the season. Uh, I sold the tires because there's no point letting them sit all winter. Uh, the engine is out. There's nothing under the hood. Uh, nothing there. The block is in that box. Um, I already wrapped it up, so I figured uh, I'm not going to open it up again. But it's ready to be picked up. We're sending it back down to Texas. Uh, Aero Machine, that's who built the engine. Well, the short block, so we're sending it back down. So uh, Scott there at Aero Machine is going to fix it up. Unfortunately, we cracked uh, we cracked some sleeves, and it's purely my fault, and I admit it. Uh, we did a quarter mile hit, and uh, I didn't change the limiter. I tried to change the limiter to 10,800, and it didn't take it. There was some other coolant limiter. So anyway, long story short, the trap 200 miles an hour, and uh, I was on the limiter for about a second. And I just learned that if you sit on the limiter for that long, uh, there's a lot of stress on the engine when you're doing 200 miles an hour at 68 pounds of boost. So live and learn. We won't sit on the limiter again. And uh, I mean, it's the end of the season. So the engine's in there. Took everything apart. All the parts are over there. I mean, it's not major damage. The pistons and rods are fine. Um, so we'll just replace the sleeve. The sleeves. So there's a... Uh, four sleeves that are cracked we just replaced them and put the new same rods and pistons but yeah <sighs> figured i'll give you guys a quick update all the stuff is all organized this beautiful manifold from phr i don't know if you guys ever seen it up close but this thing makes so much power so easily with no back pressure big uh, big primaries big secondaries yeah what else we got a little tour on the garage that's the transmission pretty simple it's a rossler xhd with a standard input shaft it's got it's called a jw bell housing it's a stock case i have like a carbon uh, cover for it somewhere there and where it is uh i'm definitely going to rebuild one of these blocks because having the car down really sucks and I'm pissed because there was maybe two events left and we could have went to Florida. But what are you going to do? Um, so I'll rebuild, rebuild one of those blocks for sure. So that way we have something to, uh, to put in the car whenever one engine breaks. We'll put the other one in there. The other thing that we're doing this winter, I got to do something about this problem. So what's happening, you wouldn't believe this, when the car launches... Um, the car's twisting so much that this area here is touching here. I don't know if you see the paint is starting to wear off, but um, that's how much the car is twisting. It actually broke the tail lights. That's how much, see, even here, it broke the tail lights. That's how much the car is twisting. So the cage doesn't really have anything in the back. So all I have is these two bars here. So I have to make up my mind if we're going to put a four link in the car. For those guys who don't know what a four link means, this car has an independent rear suspension. So the diff is separate and then you have axles. So ideally you would want a solid axle and then a four link. Um, so you have like two little bars that come from front to back and that's what supports the, uh, the rear axle. But this car is still an independent rear suspension, as you can see. I don't know if you guys ever seen how much space is here, but see how close it is. That's a 10, 10 inch rim. And I have the Buck Performance traction arms. These are the, the angled ones, so look how much space they give you. But uh, I'm debating if I'm going to remove the IRS and go four link. And uh, that way the car will be a lot more consistent when launching. But that's going to cost a lot. So I'm not sure yet. I think 
what we'll do is we'll we'll reinforce the cage and we'll add some bars over here maybe put an X here and reinforce the rear area so we're not 100% sure what direction we're gonna take for now I'd like to go for a link but I think that's about 15,000 to go for a link and the car has to be cut up so if you're gonna go for a link we might cut the floor and make carbon floors and carbon tubs so it's a big expense so we might wait for next season we'll see but the engine is going to texas the cylinder head will be going to head games you guys know by now that uh dave from head games is the only person that i trust with the head the head is in really good condition uh, a lot of people talk about a lot of people talk about the buckets wearing out on GSC cams. That's not the case here. I mean, one of them has a little bit, but you can replace that. Nothing, nothing major. See, all the all the buckets are in good shape. So this head will be going to Dave at Head Games. He's going to uh, take out the buckets, take out the springs, and he'll check the spring height. Make sure that the spring height is good. We'll check the valves. Nice port in there. You know, these are the cams. We'll go over the cams, make sure they're good. But uh, that's about it. So I figured I'll give you guys a quick update. Stay tuned for more. I'm gonna be getting some, uh, some engines here to rebuild shortly. I'm gonna have a 2JZ. We'll probably have a video of taking it apart and putting them back together. All right, guys, take care, peace.